welcome back to another video here on the Coal Pussy Channel. Today we're cracking open all three batches of Lightrack Bear Proof from 2021. Yes, this is not the first time I've actually got to try these batches. I actually got to try them in a blind tasting that was supplied from Bourbon Bites. Clifton over there, I want to say thank you for supplying those. But today I'm actually going to be doing a first initial impressions of all three batches from a cork pop. Most people that have made videos or have shared their inputs about these bottles have actually compared cork pops to bottles that have been open for over nine months. So yes, I'm going to be doing all three bottles from a cork pop and giving my first initial impressions and telling you which one is my favorite. Kind of similar to what I did last year. So let's crack it open and see what they taste like. All right, let's go in for a nose for batch A121. Oh yeah, definitely has that heat. You can definitely tell the proof on this one. Getting a little bit of nice spice. Also like nutmeg. Then also get like a, like a smell of like a bakery, almost like a fresh baked bread. Yeah, but it smells like that uh, section where they allow the bread to rise, where you kind of get like that fermented kind of yeast smell. Yeah, uh, you have like that nutmeg, like toasted caramel. Like I want to say like, you take caramel and you, it's really uh, caramelized and it's like, it's almost like you cook caramel. That's the smell I'm trying to get. Yeah, that bread is almost like a cracker. It's kind of like a toasted bread as well, or like a toasted cracker. That's a very nice nose. All right, it's going for a nose for batch B521. Oh yeah, definitely lighter on the proof. Has a nice like barrel char nose, but it's like a mix of barrel char, caramel, vanilla, almost like it's like that caramel vanilla got really saturated with the barrel char. The bread note is uh, definitely like a, I want to say like a toasted graham cracker is what I want to call it. A nice spice. Uh, not much pepper we typically get on Elijah Craig. But yeah, no, that is a, a very nice note. I like that. But you also have to remember, um, I'm not going to be going over all the classic notes and everything you typically get out of Elijah Craig. I'm just going straight towards all the notes you typically do not get from the standard Elijah Craig and the Barrel Proofs. So I'm just trying to get all those different notes as well, but not just repeat everything over and over again when you typically find Elijah Craig. All right, it's going for a nose of C921. Oh yeah, it has like a slight hint of like a tobacco nutmeg caramel a little more fruity i want to say like red fruits almost like a cherry nice vanilla nice caramel as well really nice and complex i like what's going on in the glass but it's uh light on the nose as well not that typical like punch you typically get out of elijah craig bear proofs also get like a i want to say like a like a musty funk almost, but like a, yeah, it's almost like a, like a little, a slight hint of funky note on there, which I kind of like. It's a nice complex nose. I like what's going on in here. Definitely different than the first two batches. All right, what's going for a taste for batch A121? Mm. Nice heat on the front end, rolls all across the palate, great flavor, really like that. Has that nice pepper right up there on the palate, has that spice, 
nice cinnamon, vanilla, caramel. All those great notes. I want to say like a toasted graham cracker really on the palate as well. Mm. With a slight hint of tobacco on the palate. Kind of sit there on the palate as well. But it has a nice like brown sugar. But like a... I almost want to say like simple syrup, but like with brown sugar. That's kind of how like the mouthfeel and the flavor and the taste and like the consistency of that. I really like that. All right, it's going for a taste of batch B521. Oh yeah. Very nice palette. Some nice, like, I want to say brown sugar, caramel, with a nice hint of, like, leather. Almost like a tan leather. One that's, like, you almost put a piece of leather in your mouth and you kind of chewed on it. Has that nice, like, classic note of, like, that leather that really stands out. The pepper, the spice, all that is turned back from a traditional Elijah Craig and a Barrel Proof. But it's, uh, I want to say kind of narrow. It's kind of complex, has a lot going on in here, but I want to say it's very straightforward, and uh, I don't want to say simple, because there's a lot going on in here, and it really stands out, but it's just uh, not traditionally as mind-blowing as all the other Elijah Craig's. Oh yeah, still really good, but very straightforward. Um, not too much of like a, I want to say as a experience, but it does taste really good. has a lot going on, but just very simple and very narrow on that nose, but it's still very good. I actually like it and it's something that I want to enjoy when I try not to have all my attention on my whiskey. Let's go for a taste of Batch C921. Oh yeah. Almost like get like a experience of rye on the palate. Has a nice traditional notes, nice pepper, nice spice, with a nice sweetness, with a great back end of rye and all that um, typical new you typically get from a rye is right up here on this glass. Nice sweetness of the caramel vanilla, but it's also like a like a butterscotch, but like a one of those hard candy butterscotches. Oh yeah, very nice nose. Really stands out. I like where this is going. The proof is starting to stand out a little bit more. Probably it's been sitting in the glass, has a little more time to aerate, and actually fill up the glass with all those uh, ethanol and all that alcohol. Oh, the nose really stands out though. But also it really drinks like a like a lower proof. Um, I know this is actually a lower proof, but um, has a nice intensity of all the flavors and everything that's going on in the glass. But the nose is uh, filled at the higher proof, and that taste does not taste like that proof right there. Oh yeah. So those are my first initial impressions from all the batches from 2021 of Lodge Craig Barrel Proof. A121, nice complexity, nice heat, nice flavors. Loved everything that's going on in that glass. C921, great flavors, a lot going on there. Um, I want to say it wasn't as complex. Great flavors though, but it was very narrow. And something I really want to enjoy while watching a movie, where I'm going to be invested in the movie and when I'm drinking my whiskey, and not just heavily invested into the glass where I really want to have an experience and try something that's very super, super complex, what typically Elijah Craig Barrel Proof typically is. C921, great flavor. Everything's going on there. Love the sweetness. Love that butterscotch. Love all the flavor that's going on in the glass. But definitely did not taste like the proof that it actually is. Great flavors though. Really love what's going on in that glass. And I'm actually probably going to have to pick it as my favorite one as of right now. From all three of these, from going from cork pop to cork pop. I really like the flavors that's going on in C921. 
I like that butterscotch, that sweetness, everything that's going on in that glass. But yes, I like that one a lot. I liked all three of these, but yes, they're all different and unique in their own way. They're a little bit different from what Elijah Craig Burrow Fruits or typically are from every batch that's have happened so far. But yes, I like C921 so far. But thanks again for watching, guys. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. May the best of your past, maybe the worst of your future. Cheers, guys.